This is a high BMI patient, as well elderly, had previous laminectomies twice, five years of pain, he rates his pain actually 12 of 10, um, seven full sessions of physical therapy in the last five years are done, multiple injection radiofrequency ablations are done, and patient's pain is persisting. Three surgeons have seen the patient, including surgeon who did the laminectomy and have told him that with his high BMI, surgery cannot be done. Uh, they told him he should live with the pain and come back when his BMI is uh, fallen significantly. Actually, he told me and, uh, that he couldn't uh, really walk. And only situation that he could be uh, tolerating the pain is when he's laying down in a recliner. So practically, he lost nothing. He actually gained 100 pounds. And now he's being seen with me. He's driving a long way to come and see me and being cared for. These are the interoperative uh, films that I'm going to show. Literally, with the high BMI, obviously, this imaging is going to be difficult. But with some uh, technique, we can get good interoperative x-ray in, in the AP and lateral view. This is the time surgery starts. Actually, surgery starts at uh, 8.56 and or 8.59 when we put the first Jamshidi in and then we mix the bone marrow with the tricalcium phosphate after I put the Jamshidi in and get the, get that I go with the probe to the Cambin triangle and enter the K-wire dilator perform a discectomy at that point then I first uh, because of the space is big I want to put a big cage in I put a 14 millimeter cage that it's goes in the low profile but then we turn it and practically with the shape of the disc we expand it but it was so sclerotic that I have difficulty to turn the cage so I remove it and then put a smaller cage in so this process is more than longer than usual but I'm able to put a cage in now here and then at this point, the K wires in four and fives are already in place. This is uh, practically less than 25 minutes after surgery started. Then we pay attention to four five, very sclerotically, very collapsed disc. We go with the Norman uh, Norm monitoring probe, and here I'm able to actually put a Norm monitoring probe in. Then put a K wire, and as you see, the K wire has been bent. The front of the K wire has been bent so that I'm able to steer it into the disc base because the disc is so collapsed and sclerotic that it's really hard to get anything in. But you see here that not only I'm able to open up the space, but as well the minor sclerosis, scoliosis that patient has is corrected. So again, disc work and then cage is going in. After instrumenting this level, we pay attention to the next level, which is 3-4 in the same fashion. Approaching the disc after getting good pictures, you see here in the AP that there is quality of the picture is very poor because this is severely sclerotic bone here look at that this mass is visualized here during the surgery and obstruct our view right there it's in our way but we are still able to see you know um, the pedicle disc base spinal process so that's enough so here again we enter the disc by directional bend into the into the disc uh, by K wire, and then we open up the space. This is the so-called anatomic decompression. Then we put a spacer in. The cage is going in, and then we are able to move to the next level. Three cages, and six K wires are placed, and we are less than fifty. Uh, four minutes into the surgery. Then here, as you see, we enter the disc of the, after putting K-wire, the disc of the L2 
two, three. This is the very sclerotic level. Again, previous CT shows how bad the situation is there. And we have to sp enter this space. You see the bends here. We have to follow it to secure the K wire inside of the disc space. And by doing that, uh, it, that requires for us to put a bend into the K wire, as you see about here. Straight K wire had a problem to go around the corner, but we bend it, we pass the first curve, and then bend it the other way, and go around the curve to the other side, here. And then obviously the K wire then follows it and open up the space. Then we are able to put a, do the discectomy, put the cage in, and then the rest of the K-wires are placed. At this point, you take the AP machine actually out. And then the rest of the surgery is done in the lateral view. We decorticate, then put the screws in. We put a special bend into the rod, as you see here, and then we lock it in place. And this is the end result. So this surgery was extraordinarily long compared to other four levels that we do. This surgery practically at this point, you see that this is the finals, is exactly two hours after the skin incision. Then we need a few minutes to close the skin. I got a post-op CT and I'm going to show you. This is, you see the screws. Here the L2 screw, L2 3 cage, L3 screw, L3 4 cage, L4 screws, L4 5 cage, L5 screws, and S1 screws. They're all well positioned. Now I'm going to show you the sagittal and coronal views that shows the disc space is distracted anatomic decompression is achieved and significant um, as well alignment is achieved uh, but more important than that I uh, just visited the patient uh, three hours after the surgery he ambulated his remaining leg pain most of the pain was in the back but he has some radiculopathies that is gone he was smiling and making literally jokes with me so this patient will be discharged tomorrow morning with high BMI that uh, other surgeries um, very justifiably could not be done with uh, traditional techniques. Thank you.